Yo koso! Welcome to the digital series of Next Gen Geijutsuka. This series celebrates the next generation of talented artists who practice a variety of Japanese cultural arts, have made them their own, and play an important role in sharing the beauty of these art forms with the wider world. Our first gay jutsuka, or artist, is Kuniharu Yoshida. Welcome, Kuni. Originally from Tokyo, Japan, Kuni is a calligrapher, hip-hop dancer, and teacher now based in Los Angeles, California. At six years old, Kuni first learned shodo, the art of Japanese calligraphy, from Master Yoshiko Kawakita and his grandfather, Master Yoshitaro, Yoshitaro Yoshida. He said he learned hip hop dance in college on the streets of Japan and Los Angeles and in lots of dance battles at nightclubs. He often blends shodo and hip hop together in live performance art, merging the traditional and contemporary. Kuni is a teacher at Fuji School in Los Angeles and often performs at events like the Japanese American Cultural and Community Center's Oshogatsu New Year's Festival and Nisei Week Festival. Please enjoy the following performance by Kuni entitled Tsunagu, or Connect, and stay tuned for a short interview with him and me afterwards. If you have any questions for Kuni, please submit them via Facebook Live.
こんばんは。Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and sharing that piece. It's so beautiful to watch. Can you tell us about Tsunagu?、Um, and why did you pick this character? And what does it mean to you? Yes,、um, I think this is the thing's most biggest part of my performance today. Because、uh, I was planning to write actually、uh, culture, but I realized that we, we got all connected by something in this strange time, you know? So it's like a wave, wave of, of the emotional vib vibrations kind of stuff. The people might say it's a superstition, but、uh, usually it, hap it was not happened to me a lot. So one day I got call, I got call from、uh, old friends who I've not chat for a long time. Then I start feel like, oh, I want to talk more friends and family in Japan, you know. So you just don't know、uh, your friends might want to get talk you are doing well, you know. So I felt, I feel stuck like that. So that's why I decided to write connect people and people. And it's so important to connect right now, especially what we're doing here today with everyone. Thank you for watching. And、um, I loved how you just revealed your hands to me. You have one clean hand and one hand with Shoto ink, which is very cool. He was working today and telling me about that.、Um, can you tell me more about how your movements 
express the meaning of tsunagu when you write? Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, the, the, the movement of the tsunagu is like, Mm. It, there's a bunch of stroke order, so this kanji character is pretty uh, complicated. But uh, in the in the in the movement, there's a lot of uh, you know different type of uh, strokes in the in the character. So I I just enjoyed it to feel connected. So. Before write anything, I just set up usually set up everything, image and feeling, prepare everything before. So I'm I'm not just thinking about just focus to make it. So there's stroke order. What else do you think about? What what's in your mind when you're writing? Hmm. When I yeah, actually when I do as I say, like I just focusing to make it like stuff so the i i think i made more before right in front of paper so that that was the moment that's why people said maybe it's a uh, edit, meditating or something but actually that's a time to create and think stuff after the start just go for it just go for it i like that <laughs> um we have some questions uh from the audience what is your favorite kanji or character to write? Oh, now it's it's been a long time. I I I didn't like to write my name. I like the meaning and but my 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 name is Kuni. The Kuni character now it's my favorite kanji character. Yay! That's good. <laughs> it's good to be proud of your name. Um, one thing for me, I've taken some calligraphy classes, some shuttle classes, and we usually write on a small piece of paper. And here you've written on this huge canvas. Uh, how do you transfer your techniques for writing small to a giant canvas like uh, in Tsunagu? Mm -hmm. um, to me, uh, basically, uh, techniques are very similar maybe almost the same to me. But if I compare small canvas and big canvas, it's just uh, mm, use whole body like a finger when you do small, big, and, uh, and feel, feel a scale of the canvas like uh, usual to do the small canvas. But the difference is speed and gravity. That's a very different to me when I do performance. So it's a very rosical though. Can I speak something a little bit about this? Like a metaphor or stuff? So are you, uh, are you good at math, Lauren? Ooh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> uh, and you, uh, so like, for example, there are two, okay, there are two same car on the road. And then one is uh, 30 miles. And the other one is six miles, but same type of car. So if the both uh, cars break quickly, so 30 miles car was stopped in nine miles. So what about 60 mile car stop? So it's not an 18. Most of the people thinking that's a double, like, you know, so it's not. So it's 36 miles. So it's big difference, uh, nine miles mm -hmm. and six, 36 miles. So, so this is because of, uh, like a two squared. So the writing impact is a lot to my body. So that's, I have to control very well. So this, this is, you know, the everything have to be a control. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. And I like that metaphor, even though I'm not good at math. Um, <laughs> so one, another question we have is, um, why didn't you break dance? <laughs> well, well, we'll reserve that because in the second piece that we're presenting, you'll see a little bit more of Kuni's hip hop influence and elements he presents. Um, but another question is, who is your favorite person to collaborate with? Oh, wow. So I've been uh, collaborating a lot of artists and 
uh, or sometimes with community. So I really love to do collaborate with anything, but uh, in the future, I want to collaborate on nature things, maybe water or air. I want to write anywhere. I don't tag on the street though, but, <laughs> but uh, I want to do something like in the water calligraphy or in the air, maybe a technology, you know, the uh, VR drawing, if I can show people. Whoa, are, yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, all the collaborators out there, you can get in touch with Kuni. <laughs> um, so back to the second piece that we're gonna see. Um, there's more of a blend of hip hop elements and calligraphy. When did you first have the idea to blend calligraphy and hip hop together? Oh, wow. So, um, mm, I discovered the brush strokes and dance flow is very similar to stop motion or like or something. So like these, uh, Mm, uh, you know, so the, always there is a feeling that is uh, blended everything. And even I, I'm not really dancing actually. Like a first, first performance also, my brush and my kind of finger and dancing together sometimes stop like doo -doo 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 something like that. So always it's together. Well, it is so cool to see you do that. So. With that, I would like to present Kuni's second piece entitled The Beauty and the Struggle. Hi everyone, I am Yuriko Fujita and I am the owner of the Sharaku in San Francisco, Japan town. I have been here for almost 40 years. At my shop, I sell Japanese musical instruments like koto, shakuhachi, shamisen, and their accessories. I also carry Japanese traditional gifts, kimono and kimono accessories. 
I have a nice selection of Japanese Western style clothing as well. Some of the clothing I make out of kimono. I will open my store on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays from 12 to 5 p.m. now. I'm abiding by the San Francisco City and the State of California guidance in order to open my business. If you are interested in my products, please contact me at my phone at 415 929 9084. Or email at sharaku at spcglobal.net. I hope you will support my business and Japan Town so we can continue to represent our beautiful Japanese culture. Thank you and arigato gozaimasu. Due to, the challenges, due to the challenges of the COVID 19 pandemic, some of our cultural businesses in Bay Area Japan towns are in danger of disappearing. So please consider supporting these shops like Sharaku and their owners. And I'm going to let Kuni、um, say goodbye to everybody and、uh, give a message to his、uh, friends and family. After Obon. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to Obon first. Thank you, Alec.、Uh, thank you, everyone, so much for joining our first, first presentation of Next Gen Geijitsuka. Please join us for our next performance on Tuesday, July 7th, featuring musician Isabella Kazuailu on the Koto with her guest Isako Kajun Kashino at 8 p.m. Pacific time. To conclude our program, we present you with a community obon dance to Niji. Or Rainbow, performed by musicians Shirley Kazuyo Muramoto, Brian Mitsuhiro Wang, Joe Guzman, Thomas Devara Yarbrough, and Lily Bell Aiko Takashima Yarbrough. Thank you to everyone who submitted videos for the dance, which was choreographed and led by Reiko Iwanaga, also known as Hanayagi Beinichi. You can also join Reiko in the upcoming San Jose Virtual Obon Festival on July 11th. We welcome you to get up. And join the dancing from home.、Uh, thank you to Kuni, who、um, is welcome to send his message after the Obon dance.、Um, and for everybody else, thank you so much. See you next time. Matane.
amazing, a lot of fun to participate and see everybody else participate. Thanks again to everyone who submitted their videos. And now we'd like to give Puni the opportunity to share a message with his friends and family in Japan. Thank you. あの、いつも遠くで見守ってくれてありがとうございます。皆さん。えっと、俺が一番離れてるけど、ま、家族みんな、えっと、これからも仲良くいようね。あと、仲間たちもこれからもずっと大切な仲間たちでいてください。コロ